You can even use this technique to complementary mathematical operations to do pre-comps and I use this really often to be honest. So sometimes it's either a cleanup or a complicated setup for some sort of pre-comp but that operation is dependent on the actual plate itself directly so we can separate them with this type of operation for example. This cleanup is a very simple one so it's just the removal of the boat that's fine but it's a, an example in which this operation in this case again is a very simple one just one note but let's assume that this is a very complicated setup with multiple entries but it's dependent directly of the input of this plate right but we have to find a way to still have the plate separated from these operations and the way I do it is with a minus for example here I want to minus those operations from the actual plate and I have it like this so when I put it back over as a plus it's inverted when I put it like that there you have it I don't have that dependency anymore because I can pre-comp it from here from this minus and then I add it with a complementary operation sometimes the minus plus doesn't work for me for some reasons it has to do with exactly what I'm taking and what's the nature of the work that I did so if the minus plus doesn't work I use the divide multiply but this is a great way to separate whether it's just small paint jobs or if it's something really complicated a pre-comp that is dependent directly on your input this is a great way of separating them and then you can pre-comp it from here this will always be something as an external kind of a thing and it's gonna work still as your pre-comp hope this makes sense and again minus plus or divide multiply in other cases my approach to this build is really simple it's always based on the key light and what I do is I just use the key light to sample that color and I know that this result will give me a spill result I'm not looking to extract matte it's just to extract the green areas and a way to highlight where those green areas are meaning the spill I can use a minus operation here between the actual key light that took all the green out and the actual result before so if I use this as a minus like that this will be what we can call our dispel map and again it's a minus operation so it's a dispel map and it's also all the luminance that we have in the plate that we have to add to our dispel in order for us to have exactly the same luminance as our plate so we did this as a minus but this minus has a color and we want that color to be just luminous we don't want to introduce any specific color but we want these values to be the same so we can drop a saturation put the saturation down and then you can add the inverse operation of minus which is plus to our key line so if you do that now we have our dispel done in this example I'm doing the the dispel on a denoise plate which is how it should be because if you don't do it on the dispel plate even if not matching the luminous you know that you don't have like many artifacts or any artifacts at all look what happens if you put this on a plate with grain we can have all these artifacts that are really nasty and it's going to give you all these sort of problems so of course if you mix the luminous the artifacts will be less visible but depending on what you do with the luminous if you take this down quite a lot because if you need you start revealing some of these problems and you don't have the same issue when you do this on always on the denoise plate those problems will go away and we can always recover the original grain to put on top but we're going to take a look at that as well because it's also uh, complementary basic math operation that we need to, to use for that but be aware of this uh, detail because it's important minus plus here we have this plate that has been denoised and this one has the noise in it so basic operation minus plus if we subtract one by the other we can have the only thing that is different which is the grain itself so now we can apply this grain to whatever we want so if this is the noise okay no noise if I put the inverse operation which is a plus I'm gonna put the original noise back over it so it's this now is the same as this this is just the noise being added to the denoise plate so when we are doing a dispel as I mentioned earlier if we do a dispel here on the denoise it's always safer especially if you have like low values for the luminous or no luminous at all look what happens again when we have this done on the grain version we have this type of problems so it's always advisable to put this on the denoise and then we're gonna add the noise back on top and we're gonna have this noise again this is our noise back on top of this one so from here we end up with the original noise so now we have the original noise here on the characters otherwise we didn't have it and you see that it's exactly same noise so again minus plus situation I have this plate and I have a clean plate if you divide one by the other 
and then use the complementary operation which is a multiplying if you multiply now this over a background you're gonna have your additive okay any background there you go all you have to do now is to dispel the inputs so I'm gonna use my dispel now you have your right colors that's all you need to do just dispel both inputs and then you're gonna have the right colors of your background there's a caveat in this technique, which is if you have high contrast images like you have in here and a high contrast image in this one, this technique might not work. So we're going to take a look at another one. But again, divide, multiply, complement your operations again. If the other additive technique doesn't work, we can always think about a different additive way, slightly different and uses some of the concepts that we already talked about, for example, the dispel math. So I'm going to use my dispel, which is basically the same operation that we already discussed based on the key light. And if I dispel that, I can now extract the dispel map. If I now subtract that dispel map by my actual dispel, we're going to have this. The goal is you put a, a grade here and then you go on the gain and you go channel by channel looking at this minus trying i'm on the red channel now trying to clean all the background you have to go really slowly with these values where you go up until you clean it as much as you can without destroying the detail and then you go and do the same for green maybe for the blue as well maybe it's a bit less so you see that you use different values and you have to be depending on on you know on your dispute these values can be more up or down uh, it's according to your needs because of this minus operation we have some negative values that we don't want for the next operation which is a plus and the reason why we need to clamp it is you'll see in a second and we have to clamp the rgb we're going to put all and now the inverse operation is of course the plus and now if you go on this example here, you're gonna have your additive, all the detail is there, all the right color is there. And this is a method that works when the other one doesn't work and vice versa. So if you don't have a clamp, you're gonna have these values on the background that you don't wanna change. So you want the background to remain intact as much as possible, but, but, but because of this operation, you have some negative values in this region. And you can see here that if you then add it back to your background, of course, the background is going to change. So we need to have this area completely free from any value. So uh, it needs to be, if it's under one, uh, if it's under zero, it needs to be zero. And the rest, the ones above zero, we are cleaning with this operation anyway. So hope this makes sense. And again, minus plus. We can also use this noise to be applied directly to a background. So if you use again a plus operation here, we're gonna have that noise, right? We have that noise there, but we have also something that is not desirable at all, which is the seams. So we're gonna take a look at how we can solve this problem. So in here we have our denoise and in here we have our plate. And the first thing to do is to have this operation from lock to lean with something that we're gonna then tweak on the lift. This will make sense in a while, but let's ignore this for now. So we have the minus operation as we discussed before in this case in here. So that's exactly the same result. And now what we're gonna have, it's something different we're going to introduce right after the minus we're going to introduce the divide but we're going to introduce the divide with the gamma operation here so we're going to have something that will look more like this or more like that and look what happens to the image apart from the color we're going to have more or less contrast on the actual features of the play so we're going to leave it as is for now which is 0.78 let's leave it like that and this will be a divide uh, operation so now we have to invert all of this so we're going to start with this one which was the last added so we need to uh, have it to be the first to be inverted so we're going to invert this operation or complement this operation with this multiply but we're going to multiply actually the image that we want to add the noise to and we're going to have exactly the same operation that we have in here that i'm going to disable for now uh, it will all make sense in a while and we're going to have also a gamma that has to have the same value that we have there so they're linked so now we have the divide which is again the plate by the denoise plate and we now divide that result by the denoise with a gamma applied we're going to have the same which is that result of that division is going to be then multiplied by the plate with also that gamma added in the its input so if you have this and now if you change the gamma and this is the master because the gamma of these two again is the same so when you go up and down with the gamma, you'll see that you have more or less contrast of those features. So this is what's happening in here. And now we 
have just one operation left to be inverted, which is the minus for a plus. So we're gonna have this result from the multiply to a plus here directly to our plate. So now if you add the grain into our background, you'll see that the grain is being added like that because it's, it has been neutralized in terms of seems as much as possible by the fact that we have this this gamma so if you go up and down you see that there's a sweet spot in which you start seeing the seams so here we start seeing the seams so we have to go down with the gamma so they don't become so apparent you go and you pick that to the best of your ability and then these ones here are are here because they can help you out so if you go more up and down you'll see this is not a best example but sometimes some of the pixels they get like really crazy for example this type of stuff sometimes if you have things like this this is when this one will help you out and you create you can tweak this uh, with different channels so you, you can affect more the reds and the greens in different ways and this is how you do it uh, so again minus plus divide multiply for grain a bit more convoluted I know but you can turn this one into a tool or into a setup you don't need to do it all the time